Okay, now that we've seen the basics of what we can do with Catalyst Prepare, we can really concentrate on taking advantage of what we've learned so far and put it toward an efficient production workflow. We're going to concentrate on bringing in footage, applying color correction, assigning audio channels, and making a storyboard, all in conjunction with creating one of the segments from the deadliest pick, the primer sketch. The hot plate segment. It's a pretty straightforward segment, so it'll be great for putting the Catalyst suite through its paces. We created a library in pre-production specifically geared toward this shoot, so let's take advantage of it. We shot a three camera setup, so we'll start bringing in footage by camera. Let's go to our camera card. This is the card the camera recorded the footage onto. It could be in a reader or we could be using the camera as a reader. Either way, the card is directly connected, so we have access to our original camera files. It can take a moment to load depending on a number of factors like card speed and cable speed, etc. What we're going to do here is only bring in the footage necessary to construct the hot plate section from the program. Now we can just bring in the whole card, but for efficiency and speed, we're just going to get what we need. We know what we need because we kept track on our shot list. We went through the various takes. The takes we knew we wanted to use, we circled on the list. These are our circle takes. We know, going by our shot list notes, that we want take three of the master shot. We also slated, so we can check the slates to find the shot. If we can't quite make out what the slate says in the preview window, we can just pop over to edit mode and take advantage of the bigger screen. We're looking for our master scene take three, and here we are. But better than that, we also made a note of the clip numbers of the circle takes, so we know exactly which clips we're going to want to bring in. We want clip five, which is what we just looked at. We also want clip 16, clip 19. Here I'm using control or command click. And we also want clip 20. We're going to copy them into our project. The clips are still on our camera card and we haven't offloaded them into our system, so we'll do that now. Because we're only bringing in the clips we want, it'll be a shorter process and we'll be better organized because of it. We go to the copy panel. Copy clips to library is selected by default. We can choose which bin to put them in. We pick hot plate. And in this case, we're going to rename the files upon copy. It will allow us to know that the clips are associated with a hot plate segment, no matter how and where we view them. We're going to choose Iggy, a three digit number, and the segment hot plate. We're going to copy with all related media because some systems need it to work with certain formats and there's no reason not to do it. And we definitely want to copy with verification to make sure there are no data gaps or losses. We hit copy, the progress bar appears at the top, and we're off. It'll still take a little while to do this, so let's skip ahead. Okay, now that's all done, you can see that these four clips are now copied into our library and show in the hot plate bin. Now I need to note something very important about adding clips to your Catalyst Prepare library. We did the copy process because we need to transfer the footage from the cards into our system. You can see if we explore the external hard drive that contains our deadliest pick, the primer project, that we've made copies of the clips and they are now in the external drive, not just on the card. But you'll notice if we go back to the camera card and I'm navigating to it by going into the recent folders, we can take the clip, that same clip five, from the card and drag it directly into the hot plate bin. You'll see that the number of clips in the bin increases to five, and you can see the clip itself now appears in the bin. You may think you've imported the clip then, but that's not the case. All you've done is make a reference to the clip on the card. It will act like any other imported clip, but it's not in your system. If we pull the SD card from the system, you see there's now a missing clip warning back in the bin. The other clips are intact because they are not on the camera card, they are in our system. So it's very important that you make sure you've copied your clips over to your system one way or another before you add them to the library, or you may find yourself with missing clips. Now let's get more of the footage for this segment. We've put in a new camera card with footage from the camera shooting Siobhan. 
Same as before, we navigate to the clips on the card. They spool up, and similar to before, we're looking for our master scene take three, which we can look at in the slate in our clip. Or we can just use our shot list. According to our shot list, we also want clips 71, 72, and 75. We go to the copy panel, choose the hot plate bin, name these clips Siobhan, three digits, hot plate, all related media, verification, and copy. Progress is tracked at the top and we can skip ahead. When we're done, those clips are in the hot plate bin along with the Iggy clips. There was one more camera to get footage from, the master camera which shot the master scene. According to our list, there's only one take we want from it, that master scene take three. We check the slate or the shot list. We want clip 753. We go to the copy panel, repeat our process, click copy, skip ahead, and now we have all the assets we need. 